Music has a powerful influence on our emotions and we can experience the full spectrum of responses in a single composition. What's more, it has this effect on listeners and musicians, as Karusha came to appreciate when she attended a concert featuring Guy Batri and Dr. Kanada Narahari. Let's take a look and a listen. Coming as they do from two different continents with dissimilar cultural backgrounds, it would seem unlikely that Guy Buttery and Dr. Kanada Narahari should have much in common as far as their music is concerned. In fact, their duets show just how wrong this assumption can be, as Karusha discovered when she attended a concert in Durban recently. We are out at the KZN Society of Arts tonight and I am so excited to be here for the performance of Guy and Kanada, who are fusing East and West in their magical musical performance. Dr. Kanada Narahari hails from a small village in the Western Ghats in India and was just nine years old when he began his studies in Carnatic music. He soon discovered a particular passion for the sitar and continued his classical music studies at the feet of his mentor, Pandit Sanjeev Korti. Kanada, it's so nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How are, How are you? you? I'm very well, thanks. What do you think about the juxtaposition of performing in an art gallery that is normally still and quiet and you're bringing it alive with your music? The art gallery will have a lot of silence, but the silence may not be the silence of material world. There is an osmosis between a note and another note, and the silence between two notes is real music. The fusion between your music coming from the East and your collaborator's music, Guy, coming from the West, and now being in South Africa, tell us about that. It's such a unique collaboration where there's a sitar, Indian classical, Indian classical vocal, and, and Guy is an amazing musician, extraordinary musician. Sitar has got 18 strings, mix up with six more strings of the guitar and make it 24 strings. You know, it's like 24 string orchestra that you see on the stage. Born and raised on the north coast of KwaZulu-Natal, Guy Buttery was introduced to music by his mother and older brothers. He began playing the guitar when he was 10 and his interest in maskanda and rock led to classical training and studies in jazz. Guy, it's such a pleasure to cool. meet you. nice to meet you. What are you most looking forward to tonight? I love working with Kanada a whole lot. The music has intense sort of healing properties. It's very full of light and it's very free. There's a lot of improvisation and I think that that really does sort of keep you on your toes. Kanada mentioned that with the strings on his sitar and the strings on your guitar, it equals a full 24 string orchestra. Do you agree? I do think so. I think the sitar in itself is almost an orchestra really. Sonically it's just a very powerful instrument and the alignment of the two, they sort of really seem to kind of amalgamate somehow in a way that that I think is working, yeah. I'm so looking forward to the performance. Thank you. The final sound checks were the last steps in the process of preparation that had taken some six months. It began with Guy and Canada discovering common ground in each other's music and then going on to explore new territory, achieving a harmony of instruments, styles and ideas while still remaining true to their roots and individual creativity.
was quite soul stirring. It was an absolutely beautiful evening. The fusion was really tastefully done. It was absolutely awesome. In a concert, it's not only the musicians, not only the audience, not only the sound. It comes everything. Probably this, this gallery has got very amazing feel of sense of music and art in it. That, that's what gave us a lot of pleasure to perform. And yeah, it was divine.